Bermuda Cancer and Health Center are introducing radiation therapy to Bermuda because we recognize that there's a lack of access to care. We have approximately 200 people every year in Bermuda who would benefit from radiation therapy. Currently, we're seeing around 100 people actually get access to that treatment because it's only available overseas. For those individuals who may not have robust health insurance or have no insurance at all, getting overseas for access to care can be very, very challenging. Bermuda Cancer and Health Center, as the charity that are providing this service, means that our commitment to the community is everyone will be provided with care regardless of their ability to pay. So radiation therapy is an anti-cancer treatment. It works by a machine producing a beam of photons that kills cancer cells. It's a very targeted beam that goes right into the centre of the cancer and kills all the cancer cells that it can. Cancer treatment, and particularly radiation treatment, is very technical and very complex. But with the model that we've designed here at Bermuda Cancer and Health Centre, with the collaboration with Dana-Farber and Brigham and Women's Cancer Institute, we think that we can utilise the two most important things. One being near your family and your friends while you're going through a difficult treatment, while at the same time every decision, every part of the treatment is overseen and designed by one of the world's leading cancer centres. Operating a radiation treatment facility is, uh, when it comes to safety, the number one priority in terms of ensuring that those that use the facility, those that are working at the facility, our neighbors, members of public, that everyone is safe from potential exposure. And so we have worked very closely with the Dana-Farber Brigham and Women's Cancer Center, who are ranked number fourth by the U.S. News and World Report. Uh, to oversee the project uh, design, construction, um, project management, and how the facility will be operated. And certainly the design is for a world-class uh, international standard operation. Radiation treatment has a role all the way through the cancer journey. It can be used early on as the main part that cures the cancer. It can be used in combination with other treatments, so in combination with surgery or with chemotherapy. It can also be used for pain control, so if cancer is causing pain, radiation is very good at alleviating the pain. And it can also be used to help with symptoms towards the end of life. The benefit with the introduction of radiation therapy on the island is really significant to the community, the whole community. Uh, patients being able to receive this level of care at home means that they will not need to spend anywhere from five to nine weeks overseas getting care. And us providing this as a not-for-profit, as a charity, we will realize anywhere from 20% to 50% savings for the uh, average cost that patients are currently incurring for this treatment overseas. Um, and what we know as well is when patients can stay at home and receive care, that normalcy, that living that normal life and day-to-day and, -day and being able to continue to work is uh, significant in terms of the, the overall healing and effectiveness of, of care.